It's Whimsy and we're back for another episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I'm super excited to play today. I haven't played in a couple of days, so I'm really, really happy to be playing today. Um, we are going to do the quest called Scenes of Marriage, I think. We found the Maximilian house last episode, which wasn't really a house actually, and we didn't... Oh, this music. So good. Uh, we didn't keep the papers in it because Olgir did not ask for the papers, he asked only for the house. So we kind of tricked him, we outsmarted him. And now we gotta pick up a flower. So yeah, like the I think it's the favorite flower of his, uh, the, his beloved or something. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today and let's just jump into it. Alright, let's go. So I played a little bit off camera just to do a couple of things that are not necessarily interested for y interesting for you guys, I think. I um, upgraded my armor. I was able to do the monster hide and everything. So here we go. Look at my Ursin armor. We got the uh, superior Ursin armor now. So this is the upgraded version. The, the whole kit is upgraded. The gloves as well, the boots, the pants, everything. So it looks pretty cool, eh? A good heavy armor we got here. Um, I have some uh, enhanced swallow, enhanced white refards, which is way better than food. Let's be honest here, way better to get some health during combat. And also we are already at the right place to start the quest. But off camera, I did the contract for... I think it was a side quest for the lady that calls us Pos Peepas. <laughs> Um, we found like who killed uh, it was the, the uh, flaming rose guild or something um, that killed her dude that she was looking for so I did that and that's it honestly I didn't play much so yeah let's go let's try this out it says that to go the other way but I don't know why is this closed? Mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in Okay. Okay. All right. So so far, I really, really, really enjoy the DLC. I think it's a great DLC. The only thing that I really, really hated was the second quest with Vladimir, with um, you know, the brother of Olgird. I really. I really did not like that quest at all. It made me uncomfortable. It was weird. But apart from that, Kendrick! good DLC. Let's be honest here. Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me <laughs> off. Not so loud, I said. Mm -hmm. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. Yeah, shut up. Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little Why not I ever come here? <sighs> Who's Kendrick? Kendrick fell. Lamar. Is he? I. We partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm -hmm. So you're a thief. Thieves Damn, my girl looks living. good. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Call out to him, but. What? What, what was that? No. One of them foglets you spoke That ain't of? a foglet. No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Good. Puss peepers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just when I see his eyes. Oh my I'm god. Find that rose in this fog. It's so weird to call Gerald that. I'm guessing it's because of the Fresh gat manure. eyes. <laughs> it's so weird. Fresh manure. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm still a little bit sick, by the way. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm I'm much better though. I I got my voice cold. back. <laughs> Mountain stream cold. Okay. Oh. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. Strange. A busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. My god, his voice is super loud. Suddenly. I like it, so it's okay, but like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Hmm. Follow the tracks. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Right here. Prints from cleated boots, leading hmm. from the back of the garden. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is open. This is a black cat. Oh, it looks weird. It has a toolbox. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. That's not a kitty. What's that? That digging. You're weird. It didn't work. A lockpick. Must have been the other thieves. Oh, you're following me? Okay, yeah, because I put Axie. It, it worked. <laughs> After all. Oh, there's a... Wait, wait, wait. I can go in there. No. Key required. What about this one? Okay. Alright. What am I hearing? Grim Reaper! This is weird! Graves, unmarked. Laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Maybe he does, but he doesn't give a shit. Who knows? <sighs> Other thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Um, his ankle. What is that? Woo! Get what it, 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 Okay, I see. Ah. I tried. Can I try to, like, do something else? That didn't really work. Okay. A caretaker. What is that? I mean, I know it's a boss, so I probably won't have it. But he... he uh, it looks like a wraith, a little. You know what I mean? Maybe I could try something. Um... Just, you know, we never know. 
Oh, humans and non-humans. Could be good, but it really looks like a specter. Oh, I don't have any oil for them. I didn't know that. Okay, let's let's do this and then And try this maybe. You know what I mean? got poison I think yeah oh that ain't good um, I think maybe wait <laughs> that's not the right I have something for that This? Come on! Does he regenerate? I feel like maybe. <gasps> I'm almost dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> My toxicity! What is that? He kind of regenerates, no? He does, no? What is going on here? Ah, shit, I'm dying. Hmm, this is not going well. I'm really not understanding what kind of monster the fuck that is. Uh, let me see. Maybe if I clear all. Like this, and then... Take a Rafford. Like this, that's better. His health is full. Oh god. What the fuck is going on? Okay, wait, I have something against that though. Um let me see. I have I think it's a bomb. Prevents monster from transforming and regenerating. I don't know if it counts as a monster, but like, let's try it, dude, cuz... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. the 
I can see... Should take it when okay. <laughs> I was greedy there. Holy shit. Shit. Okay. We got it, we got it, I think. I think... No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Please don't. Oh, good lord. That's how he regains. That's how he regains, yo. How? How do you... Is that when I should use my moon dust? I think I'm gonna try next time. That's how he regains his health. Maybe if I use air then. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I can't use air then. Okay, come here. I'll use Moon Dust when he does his phase thing. Sorry, I'm so used to playing God of War. Fuck me, fuck me, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. I didn't mean to use my moon dust now. Maybe that's not the way either way, I don't know. Shit, dude. I used, I used R1, <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> Like change the phase. Okay, I think we're good now. Dude, like <laughs> that was hard. What? No, no, no. You're dead. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Yeah. That Allies was hard. Nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. I'm pretty sure I didn't approach this fight in the best way. <laughs> I tried things out, but it didn't work. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive. Exactly. I knew he wasn't just a regular cat. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. <laughs> Who are you two? Oh, you yeah, little dog. Animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Mm-hmm. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? 
No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Mm -hmm. Later. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where did mm. it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. Okay. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Okay. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. I am unsure about this. Guess I'll make my I'm pretty sure it's gonna be um, a problem. So, mm. how should I address you? Mm -hmm. As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Oh, they're so fucking weird. Okay, let me see the bestiary because I am so fucking curious about the caretaker. Where is it? The caretaker. Vulnerable against relict oil and Quinn. Okay. There are more things in heaven and earth that are dreamed of in philosophy. The caretaker served with the indifference of a golem and proved as fierce in battle as it was diligent in its labors. It felt no pain. In fact, each blow it received seemed to give it strength. As did each blow it landed on Geralt with the spade it wielded as a weapon. What is more, the caretaker was able to summon powerful spirits from the grave it had dug and could heal itself by absorbing them. The Witcher had a hard time evading the devastating strikes of its weapon. No, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> His only chance at rounding the creature came when it would stick its spade in the ground to draw another wieldy energy in an attempt to petrify its foes with fright. Yeah, that is true. That is true. It's pretty much the only time you could attack it. Well, I guess I approached it well then, but I just didn't use the right stuff. But I, I didn't know what it was, so... It's kind of hard to use the right stuff when you just don't know what the monster is, but you know what? That's what is actually really cool with this scene, because Geralt didn't know what it was either. So, like, we felt the same, you know, the player and Geralt. Like, what the fuck is this? What do I do against it? Leave oh, it's boy. Okay. Sure thing. Mistletoe. And it was nice that it was in the middle of the night as well. Now it's morning, it's not it, it's not the same, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Can't go upstairs. Yes, I don't think so. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about that. The painting. The painting is weird. It moves. What the hell? Okay. That is fine. I know them. Gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? good lord. You don't want me to steal your stuff, eh?
Uh -huh. <laughs> I can. Oh! Turn back. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> the music doesn't really fit. <laughs> it's it's quite funny actually. How it doesn't fit. But this is like a haunted house, eh? It's pretty cool. Uh I love haunted Hunted stuff, hunted houses and stuff like that. Mm, tidy, and everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Mm -hmm. Caretaker must still set the table. Uh huh. Three places. Okay. Let's go around. Can't go there. Have I been everywhere? No, I haven't been upstairs here. like break okay wait I need um I need to repair <laughs> uh, I can't oh this yeah uh, wait let me see let me see let me see let me see I do have this no not that uh this this one attack power versus specters right I think that could be good. Okay. I need to take um <sighs> I 
damage, man. Yeah. Stop running. Jesus Christ. Which one? This one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, which one? This one? She doesn't have too many attacks at least. Nope, nope. <laughs> They are my uh, my go-to enemies. Like not that hard, but good lord, I need to meditate. Can I meditate here? I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm I'm expecting somebody that'll say like you can't meditate here. <laughs> you know, like come on now. You're in the middle of a combat. Oh. Okay. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. Yeah, shut up. This some sick joke. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Hmm. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. Like a curse One or... One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Huh. Interesting. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even They're not me? really helping the... Well, we they gave us the key. Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Hmm. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. And but she can't hear us. To contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill hmm. her. I guess. Got yeah. my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Uh. 
What about the the rose? Find a fitting spot. A grave here. Hmm. She liked to sit here. But this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Oh? Iris will never wreck adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Mm. All right. I'll dig the grave somewhere else. <coughs> Sorry. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Mm. She died of loneliness. Cause cause Olgird left her or what is going on? I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Mm. inscribed in this sketchbook perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you you two got any last words for your mistress we don't partake in human rituals trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs <laughs> the remains are interred Let's I love this by the way this quest is really cool I love haunted houses spirit. I've laid your bones the to rapes. rest. Forget your wrath. Forget Very your cool. grief. Show yourself. I feel like this song doesn't fit super well, but apart from that, like I, I love that song. But... Oh, there we go. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Shit, okay, that's a good painting. Should I follow you? All right. What? We're stepping in the painting? Okay. I love this. I love this. All right. So now we're back in time. We're going to be able to get what is this the flower. Place? It's the same place. The painted world. The I work think. of Iris von Everek. Oh, it looks beautiful. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everex dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. <laughs> Yet you'd best believe it and be on your guard. 
The painted world is rife with danger. Okay. All right. This is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? So are you examining the tracks outside? Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, mm. restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I want to see the the entry for that character. Where is Iris? Uh, oh, we passed her. Oh, she's beautiful. When Geralt visited Olgird von Everick to hear his third and final wish, he learned the rough and rowdy Ataman had once been married. At some point he had left his wife, however, and gave her a violet rose as a parting gift. Geralt's task was to find this rose somewhere in the von Everick's abandoned manor. When he arrived there, he discovered the estate was haunted by a malicious wraith tied to Olgird's wife, Iris, who has died of loneliness years prior. Her rage and remorse now fill her former house with evil energy. Geralt gathered up Iris's remains and buried them in the manor's garden. He did this both out of simple human decency and cold calculation, for he knew this act would calm her unsettled spirits and lead him to the Violet Rose. During the funeral, a now quieted Iris appeared to Geralt and took him on the journey to a world which existed only in her mind. This painted world consisted of her fears and memories which Geralt now had to confront. It's gonna probably give me a headache, not gonna lie, because it's blurry, but at the same time, it looks so cool because it looks like an oil painting, which is kind of the case, you know? And there's like smoke coming out everywhere. Oh, what is this? Oh, good lord. Leave me be. Oh? Oh! Show me what you got. in mid-motion one of her memories it is blurred incomplete you must restore it the memory's blurred you must search for a way to restore it complete it oh a wedding veil a wedding veil Decorations for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgird's holding. Probably not right. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. I thought I had to put all three of them. In my land. Custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. Oh, he looks I different a little. None but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up. And toss them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Hmm. Sure. Ah, oh, damn it all. 
Okay. 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 No, 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 get out of there. Oh, come on. Crystallized, one you must now face. Okay. Um. Come on. I don't feel like Erden is really working here, to be fair. Can't repair my sword. I don't think I can. Uh, my toxicity is pretty high, eh? honestly. Fifty out of a hundred, dude. Hmm. Mm. I'm not sure. I think I can't really use anything. Wait, can I uh, meditate, please? Ah, oh, already? Me too. Okay, cool. It was re replenished. Oh. Just a little different than the painting. Okay. I I didn't mean to do that at all. I'm sorry. Castel Ravello, a Toussaint wine. Toussaint. Expensive. <laughs> it's Toussaint. Oh, good lord. That's scary as fuck, dude. Okay, not here. So it's downstairs. 
Uh, yeah, I should probably go with the stairs. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Like this? And then you put this? No. Oh no, it's already there. Oh, this one. Now it should work. Nice. I like that. It's like Sherlock. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? Grandma. It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? Oh. And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. Damn. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Okay. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? The fuck? Of course. I oh isn't it okay so let's follow him Oof. not you again I don't like this place uh huh. The bed chamber. Hell stained with blood. Okay. Oh, that was easy. What? What time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Blood. Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxen first, you. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Another blurred memory. All geared, but the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Mm -hmm. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. On the left. Fits, I think. Uh, wait. I'm not sure about the apple. Still not right. On the right. 
living tableau. This. Mm, still not right. So, uh, I'm missing something or? Living tableau. Mm, oh, no, it's still okay. Not right. I'm just missing something else. Like a cup. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Living town. In the middle. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like Damn, me. she's cute, eh? Ooh. <laughs> you were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry, please. Mm. You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Ah, uh, that stench. Really? I didn't have the time. Ow. How many are there? Holy. I can see. I don't want to do that, actually. I don't know if it really works with them. I think it does. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Hmm. We have a really nice house. Oh, good lord. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Uh -huh. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. Uh huh. Chalk. Blood. Or some kind of magic, I bet. No oh boy. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Presences. Really? Mm. A tome about parleying with demons. Oh boy. These wax candles. The gates of mystery between worlds. The library of an occultist. <sighs> Black magic. Yeah, for sure. That should do it. Now for the candles. Place candles on the vertices of the pentagram. Uh, like this, I think. Maybe this. Nope, botched it, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'm not sure what vertices. I think it's like the pointy. What about this? Usually, that's where we put it. No. Mm, not no. even a fizzle. Okay, I'm really bad at this. How about I don't this? do black magic, can you notice? Come back! We must talk! Okay, that was it. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. That's why he had blood on his hands, because he's doing blood magic. Or like using blood for the black magic that he's doing. 
What are you fucking doing, dude? Is that how he came into contact with uh, Gontir? Odin? Geralt is just hanging out. Chill. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I would have placed him. I just didn't know how it was called. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! To escape. Um. Here? Ah! Oh, I thought it was a window. <laughs> I thought it was a, an open window! Oh, it was a painting. Okay. Oh no. Oh good lord. Fuck me, dude. Where do I go? Where do they? Here. No? That doesn't work? Oh, good lord. Please! I'm dying here! <coughs> I'm dying here! Where should I go? Here! Oh my god. Oh god. Please. Iris and her father. Oh. Drained to the last drop. My god. A knife covered in blood. Guess Olgir got the scars on his shoulders that winter. The deer tankard, but there was vodka in it. So this is when he started smoking. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Probably not right. Probably not right. Okay. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Contract between Iris and Olgird. We, the undersigned Iris, Balwitz, and Olgird von Everick, have agreed to seal our love in marital contract and to bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let this document stand as an oath before the gods and all that we hold holy that is still dead to us part. We shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions. If separation shall come, we shall each retain all property, both movable and immovable, which we brought into the marriage. And additionally, each shall keep any presents given by the other during the duration of the marriage. The income which each receives, each shall spend as he or she sees fit, with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep, mutual position being divided equally between the parties. Oh, that's pretty good, eh? <clears throat> that's a good contract. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. Hmm. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. 
Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! Wow. No! He didn't take it well, eh? Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. What the fuck? Okay. Show me what you got. to be human though he still loved his wife no he merely remembered that he should love her let's go upstairs holy okay i don't know what to think of him he is like a piece of shit but at the same time i feel like he just made really bad choices and then that led him to being a little crazy you know what i mean which doesn't excuse anything, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. He's like, he's not entirely 100% bad. We spent much time together here, the three of us. Caretaker. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. Uh huh. Okay, so wait. He... I thought... Oh my god. Wait a minute. I thought he was like, you're gonna stay here and I'm gonna go away. No, he just basically Same abducted. No others on the table. Sequestrated, I guess you say. Like, he kept her in here. What? Claw scratches. Okay, no, he's a piece of shit. Never mind. For soup, maybe. A large clay bowl. Never mind. He's insane. Okay, I need a large soup. It's probably large not bowl. Right. What? Probably not. Right. Oh, you need a tray. I'm guessing. This was yours. Oh. There we go. Okay, and then ah, there we go. The tray. The platter. Hmm. I'm hungry now. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. What Before, fuck? I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. He's crazy. What the fuck, dude? Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. Hmm. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My 
my dearest wife. Letters from old gear to Iris. Were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade. Especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. Oh boy. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This yeah. letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in hell and remember but the good times, old geared. Have a torch, it's okay. <laughs> this is so cool. I love the vibe. <laughs> the ambience is right on my alley. I love this. It's like some Silent Hill shit. Dude, that's old gear, but like in... Good lord. Oh, wow. That animation. Love it. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean... What the fuck was that? Okay, get that away. Thank you. Okay. He knows how to fight, eh? died today i think we're doing better than when i started the dlc but whoa what the fuck i think i need, I need to use the bait more i tried to parry but it ain't it you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks live happily ever after Starting to know my signs. It's pretty cool. Whoa, 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 How? And you'll not be back. Dude, that's the worst place to be. Okay, this is going to be really hard. I'm not sure I um I understand what I could do. I'm gonna take maybe an an a potion. Um let me just see what I can <laughs> What the fuck uh
I don't think that's the one I'm using. I'm using silver, I think. Let's take this for sure. And yeah, I mean, fail, and you'll not be back. I should kill those, I guess, before, or maybe not touch them at all. I don't want my fucking. I don't know why I have my torch at all times like that. It's really strange. I don't want it. I don't know why I take it. Okay, I think I should not touch the others at all. Um, and then they won't come to life, I think. I have to be careful. And I don't want that fucking torch. Can we please? No surprises. Can we like... Thank you. Oh, I shouldn't... Okay, let's restart. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Is this difficult, eh? It ain't easy. Let me just take that off. Like, I don't want it. Okay. Um. We will put this. This? I'm not even sure if it's right, but who knows? Okay. The Witcher should soon be buried. The sky is not good. Death holds no surprises. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Shit. You wonder the delusion. Ah, fuck me, why? Ever die or as lifeless and boring as a boat on the roadside. Because I don't hurt him at all now. I don't understand this boss at all. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I thought if I don't touch the others, it will not, like, make them come alive, but it does not change a goddamn thing. They fi they always end up... Maybe it was because of my Quinn. Death holds no surprises. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Happily ever after. <laughs> Fail, and you'll not be back. I like that silver. No, uh, no, uh. okay, it died. Oh, good lord. But I'm not hurting him anymore. You know what I mean? 
Okay, I'm hurting him. I just need to kill all of them, I think. Shit. Ow. Okay. Giving me no choice. Oh! I can see. The sky's weak. As lifeless and boring as a boat on the roadside. Strong attacks is the best against it. Oh my god! Dude, that took me a while to understand, like, what I should do. Hmm, interesting. Strong attacks really stagger it. I don't think signs do anything. And then don't touch the others until they come alive. Basically, that's how. Evade. Use evade. <laughs> You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I don't have a headache yet. That's pretty cool because of the blur and everything. I'm I'm fine. Just looks real cool. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried oh, it, she dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. Okay. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled oh, into shit. dust. As did I soon after. So the rose is gone? Not from this world. Mm. Look. You buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. Nice. And I... I was held in a deep... I thought maybe sleep. she would give us a painting of the flower. Only now something. have I awoken. Just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave... Oh, she remembers now? I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. She said she didn't recall. Tell me, how is old kid? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Mm. Who is he, and how did he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? 
pretends to be happy, but he isn't. husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did maybe I should have said he was alright. Mention me. What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real. And I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Uh. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you've built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering? Yeah. The sadness? Is it the void that awaits? Yeah. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I do think so. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. Hmm. I think it would be better for her, though. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. Okay. I shall give you the I don't want to force her, but like maybe it would Our be better. Service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the man of glass. Mm. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. Like a river or something, like water. I'll remember you, Iris von like, Everek. Well, I guess you can break it as well. That Not no break it, but you can break your reflection. Farewell. This is Master Mirror, right? Master of Glass, Master Mirror. Glass that can be broken. I don't know. What the fuck was that riddle? <laughs> okay. Alright, that was a super cool quest, dude! I loved it! It was really awesome. I really like that. The Sherlocking. The hunting. Alright. 
All right. I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm just gonna get out of here. Whatsoever a man's soul. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, wait, it's here. Let's get out from here. Huh? No? Here. Okay, why did Olgird wanted us to do this though? That is very, very peculiar. And I'm unsure, but... I don't know. I'll just go to the, um, the signpost. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. That was so cool. I think that was my favorite quest in a long time. Probably. Well, the honestly, the whole quest line of Hearts of Stone is really cool. I just the second quest with his brother really puts a really drags it down for me like that was a really really awful it's it was fun though like don't get me wrong i understand what they wanted to do but like the whole uh sexually assaulting thing like that just turns me so off i really did not enjoy that part so and it was so cringe but if it was if it had just been the marriage and stuff like that, that wouldn't have been cool, you know? What did, where, where did I even go? Like, I went so far off. I didn't even follow my own marker. <laughs> um, but yeah. But apart from that, I gotta say, everything else is really good. I need to repair my stuff as well before I go to him. Anyways, we're gonna stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!